Hi guys! In this video I'll tell you about Buleria and I'll show you some basic exercises and basic compass. Okay, Buleria is rhythm and it goes on 12, so it's already quite difficult task. What confuses people more? There are lots of going uh, arguments going on, how it should be played, what chord should be used, how you should count it and so on and so on. But uh, don't care about it. Because the reality is that there is no absolute one way to do things. So you can do however you like. If you can play it after a couple of years, that's the only thing that matters. So how you learn it, it's up yours. So you should pick up the exercises and things what supports you on your bat. So these things what I'll show you now are how I think it and uh, how I think it's uh, this should help people to play it somehow, I think. But of course these are not absolute one way, but it, uh, I think this supports the learning process. But anyway, I think that the, when you have the rhythm, the, uh, the beat and the rhythm is the main thing. So the buleria is rhythm, that's the main thing. So why we, uh, what we should do with the guitar, we color up the rhythm. So we don't produce the rhythm with the guitar, we just color up it. And the idea, what I mean, is that rhythm sh should go there in our neck, or I don't know how you uh, think about it, but it should roll there and go and go and roll. And then we just color up it with our guitar. So if we try to produce the rhythm with our guitar without, uh, without feeling that it rolls inside us, usually it produces uh, notes and... Uh, atmosphere that things are uh, speeding up, accelerating every time and it's not steady rhythms. So the way to practice it is, uh, of course there are many ways, but uh, how I teach Bularia is that uh, first of all I ask people to count on 12 and uh, it's not necessary that you don't have to count 1, 2, 3, blah blah blah. You can even only think the rhythm tick 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 but if it's easier to you to count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve one two you can do it also but uh, the style is free but the point is you should be able to first think the rhythm and then when you start uh, let's uh, okay I'll use in this video the counting because it's quite easy to follow the marks and uh, with notes and stuff. So when you start counting, then you start at chords there, and uh, the chords we use in Buleria is uh, A and B, and this is without barre, so it's a little bit more easy, like this. So, and the first, no, the chords should be played on third beat, and then. Tenth, and it goes like this: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ten, eleven, twelve. One, two. So this is the first thing. Okay, then we can add some more chords. We can put them on first, third, and uh, for example sixth, eighth, and tenth. So it's and uh, twelve. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three. And you can play these chords with the thumb, for example. You can play it also with the index. It doesn't matter, but uh, what you decide, do it every time. What you have, uh, how you have been decided. So, index or thumb, you decide. But yeah, now we have the basic compass is here with chord changes, but now we can feel it a little bit more. So we can play 
Like this, but actually before this we can also play it like this: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And after this we can put it like this: one. And then, these are the basic things what you should practice a lot. I mean a lot. Because you should be able to play this by heart. If someone wakes you up in the middle of the night, you should be able to do this without any thinking. But of course it comes with years and months and practicing. But anyway, that's the idea. <clears throat> but uh, this is uh, these are the figures what I would like to show you now. But uh, we can, in, uh, in the end, we can also... This last figure I played, this we can a little bit modify it that every accent we play with the thumb and other notes we play with the index. So it's uh, because the accents are now on the, if you look at the score, it's on a uh, third, sixth, eighth, tenth, and twelfth. So we can play it one, two, three. So every accent is down and up. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like this. Okay. These are the main figures. There are lots of different chords that you can also use, but I recommend that when you, if you are not familiar with the Bularia at all, I suggest that uh, you should start with these, these things. You only pick up one, two chords because you have to think a lot, because you have to think the rhythm all the time. So if you have too many chords there, it messes you up. So it's much more, it's much better that you start with the simple things and you try to play them well and y you are able to concentrate and uh, there's not too many things and then step by step you add things for example this uh, i found out that this uh, counting thing at uh, this that you first think only the rhythm is really good if you think about this uh, people who has uh, grown in the flamenco world and uh, live there and they have learned this since they were a child usually they know every rhythm first than they have ever, ever played anything or sang or whatever so it, it usually they know every everything before so that's the whole point that you first you try to learn the rhythm and then you try to learn the chords and the ways how to color up the rhythm quite logic but yeah if you have uh, any ideas, comments, uh, questions to ask, please write down there and uh, I'll try to answer you as soon as I can. So keep on practicing and do it well. <laughs>